The civil case which we're filing is about my client, about what happened to her. The accuser, seen here seated next to her lawyer with her face blurred, says she was 17 last October when she and some friends went to this San Diego home after learning via Snapchat of a party afoot. According to her civil suit, she was already drunk when she got there, and a man who she later learned was San Diego State punter Matt Ariza gave her a drink, a drink she believes not only contained alcohol, but other intoxicating substances. Despite having just met Ariza, she says they engaged in sexual activity outside of the home before he let her into a bedroom where several others were waiting who over the next hour and a half, while she drifted in and out of consciousness, raped her. She went to police, and after detectives gathered intelligence on men at the party, they had her call them while they recorded and texted her specific questions, especially focusing on Ariza. During a conversation with him, the suit alleges that Ariza confirmed having sex with her. Court papers say to cement the criminal case against Ariza, detectives asked her to ask again, and did we have actual sex, despite knowing this could raise red flags. They go on to say when she asked that awkward question, he immediately changed his tone, saying, This is Matt Ariza. I don't remember anything that happened that night, and hung up. Again, these allegations are contained in a civil suit, and there are no criminal charges against the bill's punter, although he did retain a criminal defense attorney, Kerry Armstrong, six weeks ago. And he is 100% adamant that he never forcibly raped this young lady. The bills have only issued a statement saying they were recently made aware of the civil complaint, but that they've already conducted a thorough examination of the matter. I don't know what information the bills had at the time when they actually selected him in the draft. Did he inform the NFL of the investigation before the draft? You better believe he did. It's been since October. I've been waiting. I've been dealing with this, and I'm most definitely ready to get justice for myself and to have them face consequences. But Ariza's lawyer finds it suspicious that she waited until just a few days after Ariza was named the bill's starting punter to file the suit. I think this is a power grab, or I'm sorry, a money grab on her part. Our San Diego affiliate tells us the district attorney there is reviewing the case for possible criminal charges. Ariza's lawyer doesn't expect any. Meanwhile, students at San Diego State are upset because the school didn't open an investigation into this until just three weeks ago. The school says that's because it did not want to interfere with the police investigation. In the Information Center, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.